let's talk about wave on a string the equation for wave on a string is given by a y which is a function of position in time equal to a sin kx minus omega t here a is the amplitude of the wave k is the angular wave number and omega is the angular frequency we can use this wave equation to get all information about the wave let's take an example let us say that we have been given a wave equation which is y is equal to 0 0.05 sin x minus 10 t all measurements are done in SI units. Let's say we want to find out the frequency of the wave. So the formula for the frequency of the wave is given by 1 over capital T. Here capital T is the time period and capital T is given by 2 pi by omega. So we get our frequency equal to omega upon 2 pi. Now you can look at our wave equation and you can see that omega is equal to 10. So, omega is equal to 10 and the units for omega is radians per second. Now, plugging this value of omega into the frequency, we find out the value for frequency is 10 upon 2 pi per second, which is equal to 1.6 per second. We can also write per second as using another unit called hertz. And we say the final frequency of a wave is 1.6 hertz. Now that we know the frequency of the wave, let's find out the wavelength of the wave. The wavelength of the wave is given by lambda and lambda is equal to 2 pi upon k. k is the angular wave number. Let's look at our equation and compare it to the general equation for a wave and you see that k for our case is equal to 1. So k is equal to 1, the units of wave number are radian per meter and we plug the value back into lambda and we find that lambda is equal to 2 pi by 1 which is equal to 6.3 meters. Let's find out by what speed is the wave moving through the string we'll find the speed of the wave let's say s and s is given by lambda into f lambda being the wavelength and f is the frequency we find out these values earlier plugging in the values 6.3 and 1.6 the unit for speed are meter per second we find out that the speed of the wave through the string is 10 meters per second now you see in this example we were just given a wave equation and we use this equation to find out all the information about the wave that is the frequency the wavelength and the speed of the wave through the string